Greetings, my friends. We're going to do this red hot chili peppers. Um, we're going to have a quick overview. I did a tutorial for it some months ago. I put this up yesterday. Now, I have a confession to make. For those of you that were downloading it yesterday, you'll probably be wondering why this sounds a bit odd. Okay, and the reason it would sound a bit odd if you downloaded this paperwork yesterday is because I completely ballsed it up. Okay. That's why, I know I said it was idiot proof. Well, I'm the idiot here because I messed that bit up. Click the link now, it's fine. So apologies for those people that have um, that have downloaded it already. I actually put this, started this line on a third string instead of a fourth. So if you can't be bothered doing it all again, and I don't blame you, just play what you downloaded yesterday on the uh, fourth string and not the third. But this is correct now if you wanna get it out. It's been a, it's been a long day, folks. Right, okay, so chili peppers. I'll probably, it's a tricky little bugger as well. That's why this is important. For those new to the channel, and there are new to people coming every day, I'm pleased to say, I'll do a quick overview. This is your 12 frets on your guitar. This is where your fingers are gonna go. These are the strings that you're going to play. In this case, you're gonna play five and two, fifth string and second string together. Why together? Because they're in a bracket. It's my way of telling you to play them together. All the others are independent. Four, three, four, two. What's that little line mean? That note lasts a bit longer. So, and then a three. Okay. And then a little bit of tab there because there's a couple of solo bits, as you will find out. Now you'll also notice that the first chord is called D, and you'll notice that D is played like that. But what we're doing is we're doing an inversion of D by taking what is a C shape that you'll be familiar with and shivelling up the fretboard a couple of things. I'm not going to go into detail with that. It's all to do with the cage system. All you need to know that it's called D, all right? In fact, you don't even need to know that. You could call it Jake, doesn't matter, as long as it sounds right, who cares? Right, let's get straight in. Um, I won't bother playing it. I'll play along with it in a minute with the track I've got ready, queued up. So strings five and two together. Bring your little finger to the fourth fret now on the fifth string, and this is where the tab comes in. Four, as a fourth fret I'm referring to. Second fret, both on the fifth string. Open fifth string, bass string of the fourth fret. So we've got this. To an F sharp full bar, okay? Should know what F sharp is. Look at the picture if you don't it's all on there five and two five four five three four and then a bit more tab this is the bit i messed up yesterday but it's all correct now keep your little finger on that fourth string which was there from there and play four as in fret four same string fret two take it off open fourth This is what we got up to now. I'm sorry if I sound like I'm rushing, but I know that um, people's patience is not as it used to, not as it was. They get bored easily. Now you're gonna go back to this next shape. We're done with that first page, by the way. That page is now completed. When you go back to look at page two, You'll see there's a little bit of jiggery pokery going on. You've got your bar back on, you've got these fingers back on. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to, it says hammer on, it's got an arrow pointing at this, where is it? This little thing here, hammer on. Okay, and we'll worry about that in a minute. You'll say, how can you have two things at the same finger? We will see in a minute. So keep an eye on that for now. That's the first thing you've got to be concerned about. Okay? So what we're going to do is this. We're going to play the five and two again, but this little finger is going to just hammer on like that. You're done. And then four, five, three, four. And then it's got over the two here. Where is it? It's got hammer on and pull off. Okay. So what that means is you've got to take that little finger from here and move it down there to do a little bit here as well. Don't forget, we're doing the version that's on the record, which is much trickier than the version this fella does live. 
you know, him and he might have had about 100 goes at this to get it right, because it's not easy, it's tricky, but you know, we need to get it right. So I'll do that again. So there's that little hammer and pull off. And you just finish on the third string. I'll play that again. And then you put it back on, and then you're gonna slide this shape from the five, four, three, I put 5, 4, 3 and 2, really the 5, 4, 3 will do. So you slide it up to the 4th fret and then hit it again. And then straight to F sharp. So we're done with that page. That's where your slide went. Alright? So we're back onto the F sharp. It's easy this bit. Um, 6, four, six five, four, five, three, four. Bit more tab. Exactly the same as before. Hammer back on to the first shape again, like we did before. Four, five, three, four, two, three. No little twiddly bit here, so that's easier. That uh, tab, as before. So all be clear on your paper. Back to the uh, F sharp, five and two. Five, four, four, three, four. Bit of tab. And then we've got our hammer on again. And this one we do, to believe it. Do you slide up to the fourth fret again? And then F sharp. And this is a nice easy way to finish. This is page five. Where you're gonna play six, five, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five. Okay? And if you're interested, E. sharp minor seventh G sharp minor uh, you can get that off the internet right I'll play along with the track I'll have to join in with it because it starts pretty quickly through that but I, I did a tutorial as I said before some months ago so there's a full tutorial there you might see me holding up scraps of paper in that one but um, because I've not done the paperwork but it's on the link is under that tutorial it's in the uh, it's under this tutorial and I would strongly recommend that you download it before you even attempt to play it because without it you will struggle like mad but with it um, you'll still struggle a bit but you'll know exactly where you're going wrong Okay, and this is note for note perfect with him, which unlike a lot of other tutorials, some of them are all right, but uh, you know, I'm gonna blow my own trumpet here. That this is the best way of learning how to do these tricky ones because a tablature doesn't tell you how to do all this stuff. It, it just doesn't, okay? So enjoy it, have fun with it. If you get stuck, you can always message me or whatever, and I will do my best to, uh, to fix it for you. Right, we're gonna do an old, uh, a folky song next. Um, which is fantastic, which is called, what was it called? Uh, Time in a Bottle. Beautiful, beautiful song. And you need to have a repertoire of lots of different things if you want to be a good player. I'm still working on Big Love. I've got that box now because I wanted to make sure that that was nice and slick. Uh, although I'm quite disappointed that not many people seem to want to do that one. And if I don't get a few bit more interested, then I'll probably do something, something else. I'm thinking of doing Angie by the Stones. I think that'd be a good one. Um, and also, uh, Here Comes the Sun. A lot of people want me to do that one, trying to do it in a pictorial way so they can see how to do it. Um, it's a great one, that. Uh, so that, that's what's coming up. And of course, any suggestions you might have uh, that sound great on guitar, then I will certainly consider. Right, I'm gonna have something to eat. I will catch you next time. Uh, I'm coming up to 3,000 subscribers now, which is great for the first 12 months. Not quite up to my son yet, who's got like 250,000, but uh, I'm catching up, all right? So uh, tell all your chums, remember to tell them that everything on my side is 100% free. Um, so there we are, I'll see you next time. Take care.